The idea first landed in, in my lap when I was camping with a friend in 2005 and a large log fell on her foot. We didn't have any ibuprofen and we didn't have any ice. What do you do? I had some cannabis infused uh, grapeseed oil capsules. I had my uh, medical card and I grew six plants. I used those in a crock pot with grapeseed oil. I cooked it for a period of time and strained it. So I thought, hey, let's try it. And the swelling went down almost within a couple of hours. Over time, the formula developed so that every single essential oil that's in my product uh, all works towards the same end. So they all deal with inflammation, skin trauma, and pain. What I found really exciting uh, with these products that I didn't ever anticipate when I was making them is that they're actually ending up replacing people's whole medicine cabinets. And that right there, that's the reason for doing what I do. So when you're applying topicals, uh, like the Icy Hot or whatever, it, it, all you're doing is poisoning yourself, really. They're not using naturally derived things. They're not using it, any ingredients from nature. And we are using all whole plant medicine. Every single thing in, in my products is, is from the earth. In 2003, I decided to grow three plants without a card. I wanted to just have my own and I didn't want to have to pay for it anymore because I had been using it medicinally for you know, 10 years. That wasn't great. <laughs> I got caught and we took it to trial because I didn't want to be a felon. And it would have been a felony for three plants this big. After a two-day trial with a jury of my peers, I was acquitted in eight and a half minutes on a medical necessity affirmative defense. Yeah. So that turned me into an instant activist. So two months later, I went with Americans for Safe Access, which is a national advocacy group for medical marijuana. Um, I went with them to Washington, D.C. We lobbied Congress. Had I not become an activist, it would have had a very, uh, my arrest and um, all of that would have had a very negative impact on my life. But I turned it into a positive because I didn't want anybody else to ever have to go through that. Because of that, when it came to renting apartments and, and homes, that's not easy when you, even when you've been acquitted, just having an arrest, it's not, not a good thing. Because I was an activist, I could pull up all of that information off the internet, and, you know, different stories and, you know, actions that I'd done. And um, I was rented to as a result of it being about cannabis. Because when you are, uh, when you have an arrest record for any sort of drug, uh, they don't know if it's cannabis or meth. One of the reasons why I think I'm going to be successful with this uh, like on a greater scale is because I listen and I know what I don't know and if I were going to advise other business owners in this industry who don't come from a business background the first thing I would say is to know what you don't know and hire people to do that women were both the start and the end of alcohol prohibition and during the same 20-year period they also the suffragette movement also got the right to vote all of this happened at the same time and basically women have the power with it. So I started an education campaign with women. With a female plant, doesn't it make sense that it would take women to legalize it? Sitting in jail in Washington DC in 2004 with Americans for Safe Access, I came up with ending marijuana prohibition, organize women, enact reform, and power. It's amazing what happens when you get to help people feel better. All these people who are getting relief from Empower products are volunteering, dog sitting, like doing whatever they can to help out so that I can be on my game doing what I need to be doing, getting the product out there to as many people as possible. My products can be an, an ambassador line of products for folks that would never consider using cannabis in any way, shape, or form. They are anti-everything cannabis related, but the minute they get some relief from a product like mine, their mind opens.